Welcome to a casting call for a new reality show called What a Pain. Thank you so much. These six applicants are here to audition, but as you've probably guessed, the show isn't real. It's a setup to see if we can demonstrate something deeply rooted in all of us. As we explained earlier, we're hardwired to obey our parents, and as adults, that survival instinct continues with our need to obey authority. For instance, we listen to the police or firemen in order to avoid danger. But that same instinct to obey can be manipulated, revealing a darker side of our nature. This machine is called a shock generator. It's a replica of one used by social psychologist Stanley Milgram back in the 1960s. This machine uh, generates electric shock. He was trying to figure out why so many average German citizens were convinced to go along with the annihilation of the Jews. He proved most people could easily be convinced to inflict harm on others if an authority figure told them it was okay. Let me out of here. Let me out. Continue, please. This is how evil happens. The aspiring contestants on What a Pain certainly aren't evil, but will any of them illustrate just how easily we can all be made to follow orders? So basically the show is about uh, uh, how pain affects people's behavior. Meet our first aspiring reality show star. I want to be on What a Pain because it sounds very, like a very interesting experience. She's told the game begins with one player asking questions to test another player's memory. You can take off your coat. Emily will be the contestant asking the questions. Now meet Tyler. You can uh, sit right down here. He'll be answering the question. If he gets it right, we move on to the next question. If he gets it wrong, something else happens. That something else is Tyler getting an electric shock. Only Tyler is working with us. He won't actually be shot, but Emily doesn't know that. Our casting director, Jeremy, asks Tyler to memorize 20 pairs of words. Emily will be testing him on them in a minute. So, for instance, hair color, bird wing... Blue box, wild duck, ink printer. Then Jeremy prepares to strap Tyler into our version of an electric chair. Remember, it's wow. just a fake. Will Emily be willing to shock Tyler each time he answers incorrectly? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little of this gel on your wrist. Emily just, has seen enough. Sure. Um, yeah, so. This isn't really my thing. No? No. Sorry. You don't want to try it out? No. Okay. What, 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 what just, just not my thing. I thought, no. Emily has no interest in shocking Tyler. Okay, nice okay. to meet you. Well, we have your contact info. Okay. okay. But there are five other reality star wannabes. Will they obey? This is Julie. She watches intently as our casting director straps Tyler in. I'm just going to get Tyler all wired up. Here we are. Then she's escorted next door and given instructions on how to use the machine. She doesn't know she's being recorded on hidden camera. Each time he gets one wrong, you will go up in voltage, right? All the way until the test is, is completed. Okay. All right? Okay. Great. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. The voltage marked on the machine goes from a mild 15 volts to a potentially lethal 450 volts. And just so you know, the voltage that comes from our home socket is only 120 volts. But the machine is really a hollow box and doesn't generate electricity. If any okay, contestant Tyler, appears gonna, emotionally uh, distraught, we'll stop the game and reveal Tyler was just acting. Okay, the second word is bird. And the options are one. The right for answer a. is number two. two but Tyler rain. pushes number four, intentionally giving the wrong answer. Okay, what will Julie do? So now you're going to get a little um, 15 uh, shock volt coming at you. Again, he answers incorrectly. And again. Okay, Tyler, you got that one wrong. Uh, the next one is 75 volts. At this point, we've instructed Tyler to cry out in pain. <laughs> Will Julie continue zapping Tyler? I don't think I want to keep doing this. Please continue. No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I want to. It's absolutely imperative that you continue. It's imperative that I continue? Uh, I think that... 
I'm like, I don't care with it. I think I'm good. Our casting director, acting as the authority figure, doesn't let up. You, you really have no other choice. I need you to continue <laughs> until the end of the test. No, I'm sorry. I can just see where this is going, and I just, I don't, I think I'm good. I think I, I'm good to go. Julie stands her ground. Good. Her compliance only goes so far. Well, I just want to introduce you to a colleague of mine, okay? You mind? Okay. <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen. Okay. And this is for a television show, but it's actually for Dateline NBC. Are you kidding? <laughs> and what was going through your mind as he was trying to convince you to stay and continue to shock the contestant? I didn't want to hurt uh, Tyler, and then I just wanted to get out. And I'm mad that I let it even go five. I'm sorry, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler tells her he was never shocked. Making sure I'm all okay in one piece. Julie stopped zapping Tyler after five wrong answers, but there are other contestants ready to take their turn at the machine. 